The COVID-19 epidemic has forced NYU Shanghai, like so many universities around the world, to develop new ways to teach our students. Because the virus hit China first, we didn't have a lot of time to prepare. In only three weeks, our professors and staff transformed face-to-face -face classes into interactive and effective digitally mediated classes. The semester began on February 17th, and since then nearly 1,000 NYU Shanghai students and faculty have been connecting across oceans and time zones to 300 courses that span the liberal arts spectrum, from computer science to history, from linear algebra to dance and piano. I'm proud to share with you some of what NYU Shanghai has been able to accomplish and how we went about it. We recognized on January 23rd that we might need to shift to all digital instruction, and our library's research and instructional technologies services team worked through the Chinese New Year holidays to assemble a digital toolkit. The toolkit explained the strengths and weaknesses of different tools and provided suggestions for using them to provide students with what we call an active learning experience. That was our core commitment. Our students had to continue experiencing the kind of energetic, engaged classrooms that we're known for. Our library then provided webinars, introducing each of the tools. Our Center for Teaching and Learning also stepped forward to coach faculty on the best ways to deliver their courses. At that point, the baton was passed from our library staff to our faculty. Our professors adapted the toolkit to their individual pedagogic philosophies, delivering 300 courses in 300 different ways. For example, mathematics professor Leo Rola is teaching advanced linear algebra to his China-based students from Argentina. He pre-records his classes, mixing together lecture with instructions for students on how to do in-class problems. While he is sleeping, his students engage with the video, doing proofs and then uploading them. They then engage each other in online discussion threads and transform Professor Rolla's original 20-minute lecture into a two-hour interactive digital classroom experience. Promete Spatis, who is based in Paris, delivers his class via a live Zoom session at 3 a.m. Paris time for 15 students in China and one in Israel. For those who cannot attend classes in real time, Spatis records them for offline viewing or after-class review. Students also receive a transcript of the entire class session. Our teachers have used technology to overcome challenges that I would have thought insuperable. For example, music professor Chen Wei devised a way to deliver a group piano lesson because an effective piano class requires students to see both her face and her hand positions as she plays, she bought a tripod, attached it to the music stand of her piano, and mounted her cell phone camera. With her laptop camera trained on her face and her cell phone camera focused on her hands at the keyboard, she used the Zoom account on her phone to call the Zoom account on her laptop. The result was side-by-side -side images in the Zoom session. Not just our faculty, but also NYU Shanghai departments, such as student life, academic affairs, the library, health and wellness, and the Career Development Center have made innovative use of digital technologies to deliver academic and career advising, information literacy courses, mental health counseling, club meetings, and even pre-graduation celebrations. We at NYU Shanghai have accomplished a lot so far, but we're constantly fine-tuning, learning from our efforts, and expanding the digital resources that we make available to our community. And we stand ready to work with our colleagues at other universities all around the world in order to ensure that we are all delivering high-quality digital instruction during these unique and challenging times. If you want to explore our digital toolkit yourself, just scan this QR code. 